going to just wait a couple minutes and see if anybody else is going to hop on tonight. I'm just going to go over a few things with the um, celebration because tomorrow's March 1st. I know it's almost Friday. <laughs> and um, tomorrow um, starts the where you can purchase the framelits for all the sets that are out in celebration. Lubbock. Okay, I know where Lubbock is. <laughs> So, um, what came out in the new um, celebration was that the um, what do you call it? <laughs> Again, let me go, let me grab it real quick. I took everything out so I would remember tonight. So the bundle that was the designer series paper and the. Um, I want to say blended seasons. That's what I was going to say, but that was another one. It is the painted seasons. So let's just go ahead and grab these out here now. So this is the painted season, and now you can get the, starting tomorrow, you can get the framelits. And if you have this one, you definitely want the framelits. These are really nice. And you can cut out two of the ferns with it and two of the leaves. I love that they're starting to do that, give you two framelits, because it's so helpful when you're cutting a bunch of leaves or stuff like that. But I love this pine cone. I haven't used it yet, but I'm, I'm definitely thinking of what I could use it for. It's not just Christmas. <laughs> So that one is going to be available tomorrow. And then the um, part of my story, this one has the punch. So here's the punch right here. This is coming out tomorrow also. And it's only till the 31st. So I suggest getting them before they go away because it seems like things this year have a, a few things have really sold out really quick. And if you want the framelits for these, you need to get them. <laughs> so this one goes with this set. And I did cut a couple out just to show that all these all fit into the, this little um, punch. But that's the punch. So I really like it. And it's one of those that you can punch like a, co a colored cardstock. And you can use it, like cut it in half and use it behind it. So I really like that one. And I don't remember the, look, what is the name of this? It's not even on here. I'm not sh sure what the name of it is, but they're all released tomorrow. So, hi, Bonnie. You got yours yesterday, Dot? Oh, yeah, I know. I, I was playing all afternoon today with the frogs because <laughs> it's so cute. So I was cutting out a bunch of, coloring and cutting out a bunch of frogs. Here's a few of them that I did. So the hop, so happy together and the framelits. Um, look how cute they are. <laughs> I love these frogs. I hope that they stay because they're so cute. So those, that's the framelits that goes with that so the framelits are with this one and then the only one I didn't get which I'm going to get before it's over is the one for the cupcake so it has that one for that cupcake and I love that cupcake too it's really cute and then the other one is for the for the lily and they don't they don't just have you know like it has a the frog has like a lily pad and it has some other um, pieces that you can cut out the sentiments in the little um, flies that are on there. So they have more than just um, cutting out the frogs. And then this is the last one. It's the Lasting Lily. This has been really popular too. And then um, the framelits are right here. I haven't used this one yet. I haven't even stamped with this one yet, but I love the lily and I love the sentiments. I love when the sentiments have um, the cursive with it. I really like that um, together. So that is it. That's all I wanted to remind everyone. They go 
um, on sale tomorrow. And then this one um, is just an, this other stamp set. So this was one of the stamp sets that was released too. And then we have an embossing folder also that just re-released for the, the new um, celebration brochure. All right, so I don't see her on here tonight, but Babe O'Mara won the um, sequence, the adhesive back sequence. And then if you share this um, week, I'm going to do a package of the dimensionals. Because I'm trying to keep these things as flat, and it really worked out really good for the last one. So it gets so expensive now just to ship stuff. So I'm trying to keep that down. You made the card frog or the frog card, Deborah. I love that. It's really cute. I love those frogs. All right. So for tonight, I'm I'm debating whether. Um, to do the, okay, so let me show you them first. So these are the little baskets. They're little Easter baskets. And they're so sweet. This one is a little bit bigger and I was gonna share this one because it will fit a lot more in it. But this one is around, I want to say around two and maybe two and three quarters or two and a half, somewhere around there, um, why, um, round or square, <laughs> I should say. So I just stuck these in there. These are actually what I had from last year, but I wanted to, to put something in it. And then I'm using for this is that little bunny from, you can use the bunny that's from, um, the nursery the fable friends this one you can use this bunny but you, you can only like use his face for this or like this one is the little one and this is just a one inch um square it's so cute though i love this little one and then i use the duck right here off of the fable friends and i just um, masked off these two and stamped it on here and then punched it so but look how cute this little one is i love the little one <laughs> it's so cute so if we have time i'll do both of them because this one i already um cut out everything like ran all the little edging um here through so that i could show you really quick how this goes together it goes together the same way this one only um it's just smaller <laughs> so it's really cute I like this one so I just put a little Ghirardelli in here but you could put in like those Cadbury Easter eggs or something like that I love this little basket and you don't even have to use it for Easter it could be for anything even a little shower like a baby shower or something it would really be cute for like a favor um, the the bunny on here is from the best bunny and I just use this little bunny right here for it and it's so funny because his belly you can color in his belly but I went ahead and colored it like he's holding an Easter egg so you can do it um, okay Kathy I'll see you later thanks for stopping by and so um, I just colored it like it's an egg like he's holding an egg but all right, so let's go ahead and get started. There's a lot of Big Shot in it, but I can't I can't do it without Big Shot. <laughs> so I went over all these measurements over and over because last week I didn't do that and I kept messing up. So this week I'm more prepared. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna do this one Lemon Lime Twist. I just chose that one. I thought it was really Easter looking, but all this paper here is, in the, I went by the Gingham Gala. So that's what I'm using for, and you can use any of these for Easter. It's so cute. I love this paper. So we're going to use that again. And then we're using the, again, we're using the Be Mine Framelits. I'm telling you, 
if you don't have these framelits these are a must have because i'm using everything on these these little hearts i've cut out several times to use in different projects not just valentine's day or and then we're using this little um edging again so this is what i'm using for the edging on the basket and on the handle of the basket and what else am i using i'm using the circle framelits just for the um lip, for the little bunny and then the greeting is coming from the itty bitty itty bitty greeting and it just says easter blessings right here that's the only one i could find that i had for easter i'm surprised i didn't have any other ones <laughs> for easter oh look at that where did that come from that's from my st patrick's day thing i made all right, so first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and run these through the big shop because that's what's going to take um, a little bit of time. But I want to show you, you're going to need some little post-it notes to make sure it stays on um, straight because some of these are pretty long, especially on this bigger um, basket. And you have to make sure you line these up right so that they they come out good pretty <laughs> hi lisa i know you can use them for all different things um not just easter but i thought it was the gingham and everything was really cute for easter so we're just going to line this up on here i've used this framelit so many times and I'm going to actually put one at the top and at the bottom because I want to keep it really straight. And then we're only doing the bottom one on here, but on the handle we're doing the top both sides. So we're going to just run this through. Oh yeah, that would be cute, Deborah. Hi, Robin. And then we're just gonna take this and we're gonna line it back up and I usually just put this first one up against here and then just line it back up and make sure you use your sticky notes to hold it down and stay in place Okay, so we have, this is the part that's gonna go around the basket. So we're gonna only do the bottom of that one. And then on the handle, I actually, um, when I, I actually made this a little bit longer, I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about. I didn't, because I wanna use the gingham and it's only six inches long, so we are going to have a little bit of white space, but it's okay because it looks, it looks fine. And I'll show you what I mean here in a minute when we get to the handle part. All right, so this one we're gonna do both sides. And the basket part is really easy to put together. And then again, I'm gonna line that one up there. To keep it straight, you just want to make sure you have your sticky. And my plates are not really flat, so that's another reason I, I really need to get new ones. I try to use them as long as possible. Okay, so that's one side and we're going to turn it and we're going to do the same on the other side. OK, 
Okay, where do you where are you going? I think my big shot's finally working better. I don't know what was going on with it. It just it everything seemed to be hard going through it. All right, now one more time for this one. And I'll give you all the measurements and I will put it in a PDF when I post it. All right, so that's our little handle right there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and run through um, the little piece for the back of the Easter, the little bunny that we're going to do. I'm just going to run that piece through. I just need to cut the little scallop. And I'm using a punch for the bunny, so. And I think that's all the big shot that I'll have to do. Okay. Now we're ready to put the box together. So the pieces that you're going to need, uh, you need two pieces. The, this is the lemon lime twist, like I said, so they need to be two inches by six inches. This piece is for the, bat, the top of the um, handle right here. And that's what I was telling you, you're going to have some white space, but that's okay. We're going to attach it here. We're going to use the small gingham on this side, but we're going to use the big one on the basket. And then these mat pieces are one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So we are going to score this and you need to score each one of these at two and four. Oh, I want to show you this. Um, I just some when I was making that card I don't know if you all saw the card that was the flip fold card um, someone recommended putting a piece of white cardstock behind these letters in, I mean not letters <laughs> these numbers so that you can see um, them better and I'm going to take it all the way down because I didn't realize look how nice you can see those numbers and it would would have really helped for that card so we are going, so that's a tip if you want to try that. I was so glad she mentioned that because it's really nice. So you're going to score it at two and four, both of these pieces. Hi, sis. If I missed anybody, welcome. Oh, and let's go ahead and score this little bottom piece too. This is the one that's going to go around. So you're going to score this. It's it's one by eleven, and you're going to score it at two and a half, at five, at seven and a half. And at 10. I'm gonna make sure I got it there. Okay. So this piece, you are gonna fold it. I'm gonna use wet glue because this seemed to work the best for all of this. And then you're gonna just you're gonna go ahead and glue this together. So just put it. Now my glue doesn't want to come out. There it goes. Oh, 
I was doing another project just like 30 minutes ago and it was working. And then you're just going to glue these together and then you can set this aside for a minute. And then we'll put our little box here together. So we, what you're going to do is you're just going to add adhesive here to the bottom of one of these. And you're going to put it right on top, right in between your score lines. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to mat it. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and use the snail for, to mat it. And I'm using um, the wider side on the basket itself. Yeah, Bonnie, I really thought, I was really happy she did that. It really helps a lot when you're trying to look at those numbers and score different um, areas, especially on a, like a fun fold card where you use that even more. Okay, so all of these are matted. And now what you're gonna do is you are just gonna put a line of glue at the top of each one of these. That's why I said the wet glue works so much better. We're gonna fold it up. And then you're gonna bring your little top part here and you're gonna put it over the top and the, the trick to this is to make sure all of your edges are lined up and that your box part is in the middle of each of those so that all the little holes on the side are even. So can you see the inside how I got it lined up with the top here? That's why the wet glue works better because you can slide it up if you need to but it is in the middle of each one of these sections here so your openings here are all around, all the same so look how cute you can even use this like one of those little um fruit baskets and put like little fruit candies or something. You can leave it like this, not even put a handle on it. Oh, it'd be cute. And then we're gonna do the handle. And like I said, this one, we are going to, you're just gonna center it in the middle of this. So just kind of guess at it. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And if you want your handle longer or shorter, just add um, to it. I just wanted to make sure I used a eight and a half by 11 piece. So, all right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to punch a hole on two sides and I'm using my small, I think it's the one eighth inch and just in the center there. And then I am going to use a pencil to mark where I'm going to need to put it on my handle here. So you're only going to see a little bit of that white. And then I'll just mark where I need to punch it. And I'm using our metallic brads. We have colored ones too, you can use those. On this one I'm using the larger ones because this basket, on the little basket I use the smaller. So we're gonna go ahead and put that one. Oh, I didn't do my, oh this one, the sentiment's not on the side, it's the other one. And then this one, we'll just bring it around and then I'll mark this one. 
So you want it centered in the middle of the handle. And then just add your bread. On the little one, I put the sentiment on the side that says Happy Easter, and I put it right inside that bread. So look how cute it is. I love it, and I love the handle. I, I love this edging. <laughs> It's really cute. All right, so let's go ahead and grab my Whisper White, and we're gonna go ahead and stamp the little bunny. I love this little bunny too, he's just so cute. I love the big one too. I even, I was going to use the big one. I actually punched him out and colored him. He's so cute too. But then I decided to put it on a circle. So, but he's really cute. But the little one's just as cute. And I also used the, some pear pizzazz and I used put some little grass around him on the bottom. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna color him super quick. Like, where's the top of that? I don't wanna get my arm in that. I'm just gonna color him with some light crumb cake. This is really quick <laughs> coloring, as he's so little. And I'm gonna make an Easter egg. He's gonna be, so I'm gonna put some little pink cheeks on him. And some pink in his ears. And then we're gonna make an Easter egg. You can't even tell his belly's missing. <laughs> I think I'll use the dark one and put a couple little, little dots on it. All right, that's good. So I'm gonna use, grab my circle punch and it is the one and three quarters inch. We're gonna punch him out. And we'll just add him to this. I love the lemon lime twist, it really looks cute on here you don't even like i mean i think it would be good you can use these for boy or girl and then i'm going to stamp the easter blessing where's my little piece i'm just going to use this and then i'm going to just cut it Just cut this by hand instead of it's just as easy we're just gonna flag that Add some snail to the back. And we're gonna put it right underneath there. And you can pop it up if you want. I'm not gonna pop it up. I'm just gonna add some snail to the back. And we're gonna add it to the front. And 
and I didn't grab my ribbon I was going to use but that's okay you don't even have to put a ribbon on it on this one I did put one on the side um, but you don't even have to put a ribbon on it so there's the two um, Bonnie I'm using the this little bunny is from the best bunny it's this little one right here on the other one I used the fabled friends and this one right here for this little duck and I just masked these two out you can even put happy spring on there that would be cute too thanks Karen so that's that little one and I did just put some regular Easter grass in it on the little one on this little one I already I cut my own little grass and put it in there you can just cut little strips of your cardstock and run it through a crimper I didn't run this one through I just scrunched it up thanks Deborah so do you want to see the little one thanks for all the hearts do you want to see this little one I've already um, went ahead and ran it through the handle and everything and I, I can give you the measurements for it the little one's so cute <laughs> thanks dot <laughs> okay so we'll do the little one really quick I'm gonna do that this one in Highland Heather because I had extra um, on the Highland Heather from that one so I decided just to use that one so these pieces, they measure one and a half, uh, the, these measure one and a half by four and a half, and you need two of them. And then for the handle, I already ran it through. You're going to need a piece that's six and a quarter by three quarters. And then this is three eighths inches by six inches. This one fits across that handle because that handle's smaller and then for the band part it's seven and a half by three quarters and then the little mat pieces are one and three eighths by one and three eighths so cute though I love this little one. but I thought you might want something you can stick a little bit more candy than just one or two pieces so all right so let's go ahead and score this one we're going to score it at one and a half And at three and then this one's one and a half three and then we'll score the piece that goes around it and this piece we're going to score at one half I think I need to do it on this side And then two and a quarter, four, and five and a half. Okay. Hi, Jojo. Welcome. So we're going to go ahead and do this one, glue this one together first so it it, it'll dry before we I'm really getting used to using more of this Tombow I'm starting to like it better I got to keep my fingers out of it I even brought a damp cloth today so I wouldn't get my fingers sticky everywhere okay so that is that one And then these two you can even use your um, snail on this part you're gonna put that one right in between just like we did the other one I'll flip it over
and we're going to mat this one. No, don't stick to that. Oh, these are little Easter baskets, Jojo. I'll show you them all here in just a second. Okay, and now I should have scooted that over a hair, but I think it's going to work just fine. Okay, now we're going to put the adhesive along the top edge. I'm going to lift that up carefully. I'm going to put this one down here and make sure they are centered and I don't think I um, scored this right because this one looks crooked. I'm just going to do another piece. And I'm not going to put the, because you, you already saw me do the little um, edging on it. But I want to show you it right. So. Okay, so it's one half. one half it's two and a quarter yeah two and a quarter four I don't know where I messed up four and five and three quarters yeah, five and three quarters. I said five and a half. Yep, that's where it is. It was one quarter. I said five and a half. All right, so I'm going to have to fix that and put it in the PDF. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this again. Thank you, Irene. Yeah, that looks much better. All right. I didn't go over the little basket. <laughs> I did the big one a couple times. All right. So we got that on there. All right. Now we're going to put this on here. There. That's much better. And then make sure, again, that these edges are lined up. So if you don't have the... Um, be mine framelits. You can use a punch if you have like a um, edge punch. Just the the key is to keep these level here and to keep it in the middle of that white. Okay. All right. So that's that one. I like it so much better though with the little ruffle on it. And then we're going to go ahead and put this on here. Oh, get that centered on there. And then I'm going to punch again. And I'm going to use the smaller, um, smaller brads for this one. The sizes in these, these brads, they are 
two different sizes so in this package so if you just get the one package you can you'll have both all right so this one i'm going to go ahead and punch and we'll put this side in and i need to do my little sentiment really quick it needs to go in the side on the other side so I'm going to use that same piece of paper want it small because I did flag the end of it though okay so now on this side I'm just going to mark this side so I know exactly where to put it punch that one and one more little brad oh I did this I almost forgot to do it we need to just punch a little hole in this one too So we're going to put that right in the side. I'm not going to um, stamp the little duck and stuff because I'll have to mask it and all that and it, it will take a while. But he's so cute. You can put anything on the front. okay so there it is i can put a little ribbon on this one because i have the ribbon oh look at that i messed it up there so i put the little easter happy easter on the side you don't even have to put a bow or anything because they're just so cute. Even the handle is just so um, cute. I just thought I'd dress it up a little bit with a little bow. This one I'm just going to stick, put a knot on it. And then make it look like a bow. it's so little <laughs> did I miss somebody De Deborah so there it is without the little ruffle on it here's the other one I'll show you the other one that I had I, uh, I love this color though There's the other one, and here's a little stitching and the ruffle on it. And there's the little Happy Easter, and I like, I love that little bow on it. But here's the little duck from the Fabled Friends. And then here's the other two. These are the bigger ones. And I'll put both measurements on the PDF, especially that I had to read write that one uh, and you can even I mean if you want your little grass to match just make your own it's really easy to make all right everybody I hope you enjoyed it 
Um, if you have any questions or anything, just put it in the um, comment box and I'll go through it later and see if there's any questions that I missed or anything. All right, everyone, you all have a great night tonight and I will see you next week, same time. <laughs> all right, everyone, have a great night.